Flavor City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the kitchen to do a video about the best toothpaste to use on a daily basis because this has actually been a pretty popular request and I figure now we've almost exhausted every part of the grocery store. Although every time I think I do, I think of a new uh, segue into a different uh, part of the store. Just thought of the best beers and wines for the summertime, so stay tuned for that. So why don't we go into uh, toothpaste because it's very interesting. Toothpaste falls under the cosmetic industry and cosmetics are not very regulated and they can put some pretty bad stuff that I wouldn't want to put in my mouth because your mouth is very absorbent and a lot of the stuff you put in your mouth can go directly into your bloodstream. So I want to break it down from like the basic OGs like Crest and Colgate's up to some other ones like Tom's and uh, Dr. Bronner's and other ones you may not hear about that I actually use on a daily basis that have really great ingredients. And then once you really learn to identify those ingredients, it's super simple to see the good ones from the bad ones. But before we break down the old toothpaste, you know the drill, like, subscribe, share. All those things are gravy, but the most important thing is a bell icon right below the video because every week we have about two to three videos going live, but three live streams where we make our recipe from start to finish. It's a lot of fun and you don't want to miss out. So let's start with like the OG. So I'm going to pick up Crest, something we all grew up with. And a lot of the ingredients in here, you have to research and see what the dealio is with them. So this is your basic Crest Cool Mint Gel. So I'm going to look it over here and we'll see the ingredients. Okay, there's not that many here, but first on the bottom, I see blue number one. The reason why blue number one is there is because for that color there, in living color, but it's not the kind of color I want because anytime you have an artificial color like that, they use some pretty nasty things to create that. But to be honest, the main thing I really don't love right here is sodium lauryl sulfate. So when you start researching this stuff like I did, um, it's basically another word for soap. It's the kind of the foaming agent in a lot of mainstream uh, um, toothpaste that make it nice and sudsy. The problem is sodium lauryl sulfate, and it has other couple names too, uh, is very, very harsh. And what it can do is wear down the lining of your mouth over time. And you'll notice the better ones I'm going to show you don't have it. So look out for that name on there. And then we look at the Colgate sparkling white, and we'll talk more about whites here. This is obviously for a little extra whitening power because it has baking soda. And I love baking soda. That's a great ingredient. But when we look right here, once again, just like the other one, this one has yellow number 10 and blue number one, just purely for color. And this is not a kid's one. This is uh, for uh, adults. So you don't really want that. It's got the sodium lauryl sulfite, which is the, the scrubbing agent of the soap. But this one also has carrageenan. Now, I don't like to eat carrageenan, and we talk about it a lot, but even with a toothpaste, I don't want that because it could go into your bloodstream via the absorbent mouth you have. And carrageenan is a known uh, inflammatory agent, and some people say it, uh, it's a known carcinogen. So I don't want to see that in there. You're going to see it later in a premium brand uh, that is actually very surprising. And here's a deep clean whitening one by Arm & Hammer. And once again, I do love the fact that it's powered by baking powder or baking soda for that whitening here, but look what's going on here. It has, once again, the sodium lauryl sulfate, the scrubbing agents. Uh, it doesn't have any of the carrageenan, but it has these PEG-8, PEGs, PPGs. These are propylene glycols. Okay, these are actually another one of the things I would probably uh, get away from. I put some notes here. The reason why they put this in here is because it uh, makes it easier for the chemicals to break down, but also it can break down the lining of your mouth over time. So these are things I probably wouldn't get. They are a little cheaper than the premium ones, but I think since you're brushing your teeth, what, twice a day? I used to brush my teeth actually three times a day and floss twice a day. But then last year when I went to the dentist, she told me that I floss so aggressively that my gums were receding. So she told me only to do it once a day. Uh, so I've been knocking that back and I stopped brushing my teeth a third time. So I just do it a second time. But when you're gonna put that in your mouth every single day, knowing your mouth is so absorbent, you wanna know what goes in there and you want best in class ingredients. And here's one that makes one of the best ones that I feel like no one really knows about it. So Redmond, the company that makes a really good unrefined salt, makes something called earth paste. And you'll see right here, it says there's no glycerin, no foaming agents, no artificial coloring, no fluoride. We'll talk about that in a minute. But look at these ingredients here. This is so darn cool. So you don't see any of those nasty uh, preservatives, chemicals. This is the main ingredient. It's bentonite clay, and it's clay from Utah. And that is really the actual scrubbing agent or the abrasive ingredient that's gonna clean your teeth. Non-GMO xylitol, which is the sweetener, 
I don't like xylitol to eat in food because it's not bad, it's not good for your tummy, but for a toothpaste, it's totally fine. But then look at this, essential oils, verbena essential oils, tangerine essential oil. And for the spearmint, which has a lovely minty flavor, spearmint essential oils. They actually put some of the Redmond salt in there. This is the kind of stuff you want to see. Now, I will say, if you go to buy stuff like this, you'll see a California Prop 65 warning on this. You'll also see it on a lot of plant-based foods like uh, the protein powder I eat, some coconut sugar. That, in my opinion, is a kooky, kooky law from California that says if you sell anything that might have trace levels of heavy metals, you have to say, warning, this could cause birth defects and cancer. You're not going to get any of that from this, from coconut sugar, but they have to put it on there. Otherwise, they get fined thousands of dollars every day from California. I get a lot of emails about it. Don't worry about that. So these are one of the best. I'll put the Amazon link down below. And then we, we think of a company like Tom's, which I believe was purchased by Colgate in the early 2000s for $100 million. A lot of people think like, oh, this is natural and stuff like that. Natural, just like in food, in my opinion, doesn't mean anything because we look at the other ingredients here. So it doesn't have the, oh, it does have, I'm sorry. This one does have the sodium lauryl sulfate. There's another version I'll show you that doesn't. So it has the foaming agent, the soap. But this one also has carrageenan in there. It doesn't have any uh, food coloring because it is a premium item. But between those two ingredients, exactly, Rose. We don't want that one. That's the one we don't want. So what do we want? Well, here's another premium brand. I actually got this at uh, Walmart today. This is not as good as the uh, Redmond. Uh, this actually has a pretty good profile of ingredients here. The only thing I really don't like in this, instead of putting the sodium laurel sulfate, they're putting sodium cocoa glutamate. And that is actually another kind of scrubbing or foaming agent, something I really don't want. So it's a premium uh, price. I paid five and change for this. I'd rather you trade up and get for another dollar or so, Dr. Bronner's makes one of the best toothpaste on the market. The ingredients are small, so I'm gonna put them on the screen right now. But if you look at them, number one, most all the ingredients here are organic. If I can find where they are. Oh, there we go. Most of the ingredients are organic. They have none of those nasty scrubbing agents, foaming agents, carrageenan or anything. This is really, really dynamite. So if you're willing to pay a little more price, I would get this. This is another really cool one. Look at this. This is a salt toothpaste from these guys. And what's really cool about this, look at these ingredients. I mean, this is just like dynamite. In addition to being really, really pure, they're putting a lot of extracts and roots in there and barks, flavor, but also good uh, functional purposes for that too. This was at Whole Foods. It was actually on sale right now. Um, so that's another good one. So there really is a big difference between the basic ones we grew up with and the premium ones. Now, the premium ones, like I said, like uh, Hello and Redmond and uh, this uh, salt one won't have fluoride. Listen, I'm not a dentist. I'm not going to pretend to play one on YouTube. I don't want fluoride in my water, which is why we filter it out. I don't want it in my toothpaste. I know a lot of dentists say it's good for you. Hey, I just go with uh, toothpaste without fluoride. But in addition to it, it's those other, other ingredients that I really don't want to put in my mouth. One of the sources actually that I use for pasture-raised egg scorecards from Cornucopia, they actually have a toothpaste rating system. Now they rate it based basically on organic ingredients and carrageenan, that's it. So some of the ones like Dr. Bronner is one of the best ones there. But they rate Redmond actually kind of low because it's not organic. But you don't have to be organic for these purposes. So take it with a grain of salt. Before I forget, we have to go to children's uh, toothpaste. Now, you can give kids any of the good ones I said right there. The ones at the store are not the best. I say one of the best ones on the market. I didn't buy it, but it's on Amazon. It's called Green People Children's Toothpaste. And you look at it. The spearmint flavored one is really, really clean ingredients. There's none of that nasty uh, scrubbing agents. A lot of the ingredients are organic. So I'd recommend that for kids or just give them one of the really good ones like the Redmond Lemon Twist and the Redmond, actually the Redmond Cinnamon, which they told me, because uh, I have friends who work there, is the least popular flavor, is my favorite one. It's absolutely delicious. So there it is, you guys. Uh, once you start looking into this kind of stuff, it could be a little eye-opening, especially, like I said, because the... Uh, 
Toothpaste industry falls under cosmetics, which is very, very lightly regulated. So all the information is down below. Uh, if you want other areas in this kind of like home and cleaning, you let me know. Uh, hopefully Art and I can get back in the grocery store pretty soon and do our thing. But uh, like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing like a rocket we're taking a rocket is <laughs> by liking, subscribing, and sharing, and spreading that love. Art and I got two more videos going below us right now, but we will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. And let's have some lunch because I'm hungry. I'm laughing because the second time you said Redmond's, so you said take it with a grain of salt. Great point. We'll end on that note.